following question reads that uh, an equation for the complete combustion of propane 1 all is shown. So, the reaction is given, you are given that propane 1 all is reacting with oxygen and uh, producing carbon dioxide and H2O. It then reads that standard enthalpy change of formation are given. So, you are given the enthalpy of formation of, uh, you are given the enthalpy of formation of your reactants. So, the enthalpy of formation of propane 1 all is given. So, this is provided over here. Uh, then the enthalpy of formation of CO2 is also given. So, this is uh, enthalpy of formation of CO2 is also given. Uh, so, that is also provided and enthalpy of formation of water is also known. So, enthalpy of formation of uh, H2O is also known. Uh, the enthalpy of formation of O2 is not given. Now, remember O2 is an element. Elements are they do not need to be formed. So, the enthalpy of formation is always equal to 0. So, by default, you already know the enthalpy of formation of O2 as well, which is equal to 0. So, remember enthalpy of formation of O2 is, uh, is equal to 0. And based on this, you are now being asked, what is the standard enthalpy change of combustion of proven 1 also? You are being asked to find the enthalpy for this particular reaction. So, the enthalpy change for this reaction is supposed to be calculated. Now, uh, you can use the simple Hess law formula, which is that if you have uh, the enthalpies of formation of all your reactants, and all your products, then you can use or apply a simple formula which is that the enthalpy of the reaction is going to be uh, the sum of the enthalpy of formation of products minus the sum of the enthalpy of formation of reactants. So, what you are going to do is you are going to sum of your enthalpies of formation of products and subtract uh, the enthalpy of formation of your reactants from that, uh, from that value. And this is what I am going to do now. So, the first thing is uh, let us try and find let us try and find the enthalpy of formation of products first. So, there is uh, there are 3 CO2s and 4 H2Os. So, CO2 is minus 394, so that is minus 394, but uh, there are 3 CO2, so that is uh, minus 394 multiplied by 3. Remember, enthalpy of formation is only for 1 CO2 over here, you have 3 CO2s. And then the other product is uh, 4 H2Os, enthalpy of formation of H2O is minus 286, so it is minus 286. Uh, multiplied uh, multiplied by 4. So, this is my products. Th these are my products, the enthalpy of formation of my products. And I am going to subtract the enthalpy of formation of my reactant, which in this case is uh, propane 1, always is minus 303, and there is only one of it. So, it is uh, it's going to be minus 303. And the other one is uh, O2, which is 0. Remember, enthalpy of formation, as we discussed earlier, that is uh, elements the enthalpy of formation is always 0. So, that is 0. So, this is the enthalpy of formation of my reactant. So, enthalpy of formation of products minus the enthalpy of formation of my reactant. So, I have gotten my expression and if you look carefully this uh, minus sign over here is going to uh, change into a plus sign because minus uh, and then there is another minus 303. So, that would change into a plus. So, let us look carefully and see which expression best uh, fits, uh, fits uh, which expression matches the options over here. So, the correct expression is uh, going to be B because if you match carefully, uh, this plus 303 over here minus and minus that would make this as plus 303 and then you have minus 4 into 286. So, we do have uh, minus 286 into 4 in expression and you on the other side you have minus 3 into 4, uh, 394. Uh, you also have minus 394 into 3, which is the same thing. So, this expression that I have written over here exactly matches option B. So, option B is going to be your correct option for this question.